Chilling testimony from Paul Pelosi recounting the moments leading up to David DePap attacking him on the head, arm, and hand several times with a hammer. The jury watched intently as Mr. Pelosi described waking up to the defendant a few feet away in his upstairs bedroom with a hammer and zip ties in his hand, talking sternly as he recalled the series of threats to Pap made towards his wife leading up to this 911 call. Uh, he thinks everything's good. Uh, I, I've got a problem, but he thinks everything's good. Uh, okay. Call us back if you change your mind. I really believe that people will feel uh, as he feels, they will sit in his chair and they will feel that anxiety, feel that pain. Adam Gasner is a federal criminal defense attorney. He explains the testimony and substantial amount of evidence against a PAP complicate the defense strategy. It tells a lot about maybe the negotiations that occurred behind the curtains, uh, that there wasn't an offer uh, that Mr. DePaper's lawyers felt was acceptable. Before this trial began, the government raised concerns to the judge that people, possibly one of DePap's children, was passing out flyers with misinformation about the case. The judge agreed, worried it may have influenced members of the jury. Some of those false theories suggested the surveillance video was tampered with. Today, the FBI agent who edited the footage shown in court testified about its accuracy. The reality is these jurors have been specifically instructed uh, not to listen to anything outside of the jury room, not to read um, press, and certainly not to read flyers that have no basis in fact. Uh, if they do see that, they're supposed to tell the judge. That Despite audio evidence of DePap admitting his intent to harm Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi, the defense argued during opening statements DePap's overall plan had nothing to do with Nancy Pelosi and her official duties as a member of Congress. But I think they're trying to narrow this, so it might be a reach. The jury could struggle with whether or not this is a crime that involves her or whether this is a crime that strictly involves Mr. DePap and Paul Pelosi. The trial resumes tomorrow. We'll, of course, be following it closely. In San Francisco, Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News.